Princess Kiko of Japan, a name that exudes elegance and grace. But what lies beneath the surface for this royal figure? From navigating the complexities of palace life to balancing motherhood and duty, Princess Kiko's world is far from ordinary. Princess Kiko was born on September 11, 1966, as Kiko Kawashima, the daughter of Tatsuhiko Kawashima, a professor of economics, and Kazuyo Sugimoto Kawashima, a professor of English literature. Growing up in an academically inclined family, Kiko excelled in her studies from a young age. She attended the prestigious Gakushuin school system from elementary to college, earning both her bachelor's and master's degrees in psychology. It was during her college years at Gakushuin University that Kiko met her future husband, Prince Fumihito, the second son of then-crown Prince Akihito and Crown Princess Michiko. Their courtship blossomed, and the couple announced their engagement in September 1989. A little over a year later, on June 29, 1990, Kiko Kawashima officially joined the imperial family through her marriage to Prince Fumihito, taking on the title of Princess Kiko. Princess Kiko, a new member of the world's oldest hereditary monarchy, had to adjust to the distinctive way of life and traditions at the imperial palace. The vast estate, situated in central Tokyo, is the main home for the emperor and his relatives. Inside this secure compound exists a realm immersed in customs where old ceremonies and rules guide everyday activities. Princess Kiko needed to learn and follow these practices to fit into her role within the imperial family. The palace grounds provide a unique setting that blends history, tradition, and the modern lives of the royal household, creating a one-of-a-kind experience for those who reside there. For Princess Kiko, this meant learning the intricate etiquette and customs of the imperial court, from the proper way to sit and bow to the appropriate attire for various occasions. She also had to become well-versed in the history and cultural significance of the imperial family, as she would now be representing this revered institution both within Japan and on the international stage. Princess Kiko's life is a delicate balance between fulfilling her official duties and nurturing her family. She and Prince Fumihito have three children together, Princess Mako, born 1991, Princess Kako, born 1994, and Prince Hisahito, born 2006. Prince Hisahito's birth was particularly significant as he became the first male heir born into the imperial family in nearly 41 years. In her role as a mother, Princess Kiko strives to provide her children with as normal an upbringing as possible within the constraints of their royal status. She is known to be a hands-on parent, personally attending to her children's needs and supporting their interests. At the same time, she and Prince Fumihito work to instill in their children a sense of duty and responsibility to the imperial family and the people of Japan. As a princess of the imperial family, Kiko is expected to carry out a wide range of official duties. These include attending state ceremonies, participating in cultural events, and representing the imperial family at various functions both within Japan and abroad. One of her most important roles is serving as a patron and honorary president for several organizations focused on social welfare, education, and international relations. For example, she is the honorary president of the Japan Anti-Tuberculosis Association and the Japan Association for the World Food Program. Through her involvement with these organizations, Princess Kiko works to raise awareness about important social issues and to promote Japan's role in the international community. Despite the many demands on her time, Princess Kiko manages to cultivate a rich personal life filled with diverse interests and pursuits. One of her great passions is music, particularly playing the piano. She began studying the instrument at a young age and has continued to hone her skills over the years. In fact, she has even performed in public on occasion, including a memorable duet with her husband at a charity event. Another area of interest for Princess Kiko is traditional Japanese culture, particularly tea ceremony and calligraphy. She has studied both art forms extensively and is known to be quite accomplished in each. Through her mastery of these traditional arts, she helps to preserve and promote Japan's cultural heritage both within the country and on the international stage. 
Princess Kiko is also an avid reader and is known to have a deep love of literature. She often speaks about the importance of reading and has worked to promote literacy and education initiatives throughout Japan. Her personal library is said to be extensive, containing works from a wide range of genres and periods. As a public figure, Princess Kiko's fashion choices are often the subject of much attention and admiration. She is known for her elegant and refined sense of style, which seamlessly blends traditional Japanese elements with modern sensibilities. For formal occasions, she often wears exquisite kimonos made from the finest silk and adorned with intricate embroidery and patterns. Her collection of kimonos is said to be among the most impressive in Japan, with each piece carefully chosen to reflect the season, the event, and her personal taste. For more casual veneer, Princess Kiko favors simple yet sophisticated ensembles that emphasize clean lines and understated elegance. She is particularly fond of tailored suits and dresses in soft, muted colors that reflect her gentle and approachable demeanor. Many Japanese women look to Princess Kiko as a style icon, emulating her fashion choices and appreciating her ability to always look impeccable and appropriate for any occasion. As the wife of Prince Fumihito, who is second in line to the chrysanthemum throne, Princess Kiko plays a crucial role in shaping the future of Japan's imperial family. In recent years, the family has faced several challenges, including a shrinking pool of male heirs and a growing debate about the role of women in the monarchy. Prince Hisahito, Princess Kiko's son, carries the weight of being the sole male heir in his generation. As the future emperor, his parents are diligently preparing him for this monumental role. Meanwhile, Princess Mako and Princess Keiko, Kiko's daughters, face a different fate. Current succession rules bar women from inheriting the throne and require them to leave the imperial family upon marrying commoners. This has ignited discussions about the need for reform and modernization within the imperial system. Princess Kiko is uniquely positioned to understand the complexities of this issue. While she has not spoken publicly about her personal views on succession, she is known to be a strong advocate for the well-being and happiness of all of her children, regardless of their gender or role within the family. Ultimately, Princess Kiko's life is defined by her unceasing commitment to service and duty. From the moment she joined the imperial family, she has dedicated herself to representing the emperor and the Japanese people with grace, dignity, and compassion. Whether attending a state ceremony, visiting a children's hospital, or simply spending time with her family, Princess Kiko always puts the needs of others before her own. In many ways, Princess Kiko embodies the best of the imperial family's traditions and values. She is a symbol of continuity and stability in a rapidly changing world, a reminder of the enduring strength and resilience of the Japanese people. Through her words, her actions, and her example, she inspires millions of Japanese citizens to live lives of purpose, service, and honor. From royal duties to personal passions, Princess Kiko's life is truly extraordinary. What aspects of her story resonate with you the most? How do you balance your own responsibilities and interests? Let us know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe to Infinite Lux for more captivating content.